Hello. Somehow I convinced my mother to let me go to Daytona Beach with my twin Jayla to go visit one of my best friends, Zoe. But she lives <laughs> kind of far as this. So I decided to film the process of me preparing for this road trip, all from getting my nails done to shopping, doing laundry, and packing. Enjoy, love. One, my room is really messy. We're just gonna ignore that. Two, I just got a new camera for my birthday, and I am going to probably be looking at the viewfinder. It's really hard not to. It's like right there. So I'm gonna get better with this camera, but I literally just got it. This is my first video filming with it. They really got me looking white as hell, though. Maybe that's just because I am, but. What is up, YouTube? My name is Alyssa, for those of you who don't know. And for those of you who do know, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 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 It is Thursday, July 30th. I should probably tell you guys what this video is, right? Basically, this is a pack and prepare with me for my girl's trip to Daytona Beach. It's actually not Daytona Beach. It's Palm Coast, but it's really close to Daytona. So, like, I'm just going to call it Daytona. But I'm going to go see my TikTok friend, Zoe. She lives in Florida, just like me. But she lives in Palm Coast, and I live in Tampa, which is, like, a two-hour and 45-minute drive. I convinced my sister, Jayla, to come with me. So, we're going to go take a road trip, almost three hours. It'll probably take three hours because we're going to get food and, like, stop and stuff so we're leaving sunday it's thursday right now but i wanted to start this because this is a prepare with me as well as a pack with me it's kind of like one whole video first things first on the prepare with me i need to do my nails okay these are so ghetto just a no for me now it is time to take these off and get some new ones okay to be honest look i'm gonna show y'all something i was thinking about getting these but like i don't know how i feel about them anymore so i'm gonna go on pinterest oh my god it's blurry again i really need to fix these camera settings so yeah i'm gonna pick some nails to do and it's like two already so i'm probably gonna go up there after i get ready i'm like in a sports bra and shorts and i'm not doing that in public absolutely not the pack with me portion will be like obviously the second half of this video <clears throat> I don't know why I sound like a 12 year old boy But anyway, the packing part will obviously be Not until Sunday This intro is 7 minutes um, okay. Yeah, that's literally it As of right now, all we're doing is doing these nails Let's just all ignore The big freaking laundry pile Behind me I'm out of breath because I walked upstairs. So I'm back from the nail salon. It's 5.30 right now Took a minute, but it's because I got 10 different colors <laughs> Yeah, I got the whole rainbow on my hands right now. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I don't want to look at myself, so here we go. We have all the blues in the dark, purple, pink, whatever. Then we got the red and orange. This is pink. I should have did red, but it's fine. I don't really like red on my hands anyway, so there's that. So yeah, nails are done. Ready for Daytona. Let's go ask my mom because I haven't even asked my mom if, if I can okay yesterday when i brought it up you didn't say yes or no so i'm just making sure i didn't just go get my nails done for no reason okay i could facetime you yeah when i get there or like anytime we stop the other thing that happens that is a spur of the moment type of plan please let me know Okay. It's better for me to be able to know like my daughter's last known whereabouts in the event that something happened okay and then i'll share my location yeah do that now. You should always do that. Why did I just say that? <laughs> I mean, I don't be going nowhere that I shouldn't be anyways, but it was always a flex with my friends. I'd be like, I'm the only one that don't got my mom's location. Mom said yes. It's the hair falling out for me. Ah, I have makeup on. Guys, me, Dexter. <laughs> you like my nails? No? Dang, okay. Guys, Dexter's scared of the camera. Watch, watch. I'm gonna put the flash up. What's that? <laughs> Oh shoot, six bucks. Are you cute? It's, I literally have to, one. So I didn't say that we were going to Plato's Closet. I kind of just showed y'all. We just got out of Plato's Closet. Now we're on our way to work, but that's not important. That's not, that don't got anything to do with this video. We got out, we got out of Plato's Closet like literally 30 seconds ago. I spent like 30 bucks. Okay, bye. Okay, what's up you guys? Why did I start that clip off like that? Okay, hi. So it is Friday the next day. I already filmed today. I was at Plato's closet earlier this morning, but there's another step in the prepare part list. I don't know. I have something else to do on my to-do list. So the next thing on the to-do list is to do my laundry. Uh, Ma'am, I haven't done my laundry in two weeks. Um, okay. This is what we're working with. <laughs> I have... This, this is bad. I'm about to go through this whole entire pile and basket, both, whatever. Oh my god, it literally... 
smells like dirty laundry. <laughs> Don't mind the food. Look, I'm dirty. We just, we, we know that. I'm going to go through these clothes right now. That's what we about to do. I don't want to do it, but it's fine. I need to because I need to pack tomorrow. So we're just going to speed this up and y'all are going to watch me go through this because I need to desperately do my laundry. Oh my god, my camera's about to die. I already have this whole thing filled and I still have... Okay. Okay, I had so many clothes that I couldn't fit everything in the washer. So I picked out stuff that I know I'm not going to bring to Daytona. Plus stuff that I really don't wear that often. So I picked all this stuff out. I didn't wash any of that. So all this will go back in the hamper as soon as I get it. Right now my hamper is still downstairs because my clothes are in the dryer right now. And I don't bring it upstairs until I bring my clothes upstairs because that makes sense. That's it for tonight late as hell tomorrow after work though i will see y'all i think i haven't tried i've been trying this for months i can't find anything it's really annoying then you don't want one that bad i do want one i've been trying for a month don't yell at me about? okay anyway is wrong with him hi so i just got back from work actually i just lied i've been home from work for like three hours so it's saturday night we leave tomorrow there's a huge hurricane coming and i'm still gonna go a huge like tropical storm is gonna be there in florida i mean obviously in florida but there's a tropical storm coming and i don't care it's called hurricane isaiah monday at 1 a.m i guess is when it's gonna hit <laughs> look i don't care because any these are always wrong like i know that it's gonna like do this like it always does there was one year i think it was last year when a hurricane literally said it was going to like kill us and it didn't even rain it was like sunny so anyways y'all don't care about florida's bipolar weather so it's saturday night tonight's the night we're packing tonight before we even get to the packing part i forgot to show you guys me going to cvs earlier because right after work i went to cvs to stock up on hair stuff before i leave my hair stuff is like all empty so i'm gonna show you guys what i got from cvs really quick and then yesterday after work i went to to forever 21 and then before work like i showed y'all i went to plato's closet but i never showed you guys what i got so i'll show you guys a little mini haul before we start packing also i need to go downstairs because i left my clothes in the dryer overnight i'm gonna put all my clothes from the dryer into my hamper so i can bring it up here put everything away just to pull it back out to pack i don't know but we have a lot to do tonight so let's get into it all right so i just got back upstairs from putting my laundry back in the hamper so really quickly i'm gonna just show you guys what i got everything's like out of the bag so that's cool first we'll do forever 21 so i got three little camis or tank tops they had a sale it was like three bucks so i got three of them i got a white one this light blue one this gray gray one <laughs> this gray one that i'm wearing right now so i got three of those because they're on sale then i got these pair of just like black leggings they were literally five bucks five bucks so i literally spent only like what i don't even know i'm not even gonna try but that's what i got for forever 21 yesterday from plato's closet i got just this regular gray shirt i already wore it yesterday it's just this gray t-shirt i just needed more like regular basic t-shirts so i got one then i got this oversized t-shirt it was five bucks it's a men's shirt but that's why it's oversized but there's like holes in it everywhere it's so cute then i got these nike dry fit shorts this is hard to do with one hand i hope y'all know this and then i got this pair of denim i think these are so cute they were like eight bucks um i don't know what brand they are but they're not like american eagle or hollister i'm definitely bringing these to daytona palm coast whatever then i went to cvs after work like i said let me switch up the angle this is a repurchase i already have some i just ran out but this is the mark anthony i don't even know what this is to be honest strictly curls curl defining lotion it is so good whatever it is i love it it gives you very much slip now where the hell i'm missing something that i bought it's probably downstairs let me not freak out yet this is new i've never tried it before it's the aussie miracle corals i don't know hello i don't know what it is but i'm excited to try it so it's a curl definer and then like anti-frizz i don't know but it looks good and i like aussie's products so then i also bought a repurchase of this which is the garnier fruity leave-in conditioner this stuff i've literally been buying since i was like 12 good stuff and i ran out of that too so most of them were just repurchases and then i got this to try out so i'll let y'all know how i like it that's all of the stuff what the f 
that's all the stuff that I bought for Daytona. It wasn't like specifically for Daytona, but it kind of was. Now that the haul part is over, I'm going to quickly put away everything. Basically clean this up. <laughs> Once everything is put away, like hang, hanged up. What the f***? I can't even bed. Once everything's put away in my drawers and hung up and stuff, I'll be back to pull everything out again and show y'all what I'm packing. Okay, so it's 45 minutes later and I'm ready to pack finally. I pulled out my purple suitcase from my closet. This thing is roomy. She's also shut, so there's that. But I pulled that out and I made my bed. Well, I didn't make my pillows, but I made my bed so I can throw everything on here and figure out what I want to bring We're gonna go through each drawer and just grab stuff out that I think I'm gonna grab I mean use so up here We have the socks sports bras regular bras and underwear So I'm gonna just really quickly grab stuff out of here and throw them on my bed because y'all don't really need to see what I'm bringing out of the drawer. That's kind of weird. All right, so I just picked out everything from the top drawer so I Picked out like seven pairs of underwear because you can never have too many pairs of underwear when you're leaving somewhere. I brought my PSD set, one of them, just because I like to sleep in them. I brought just a regular sports bra and then like mad pairs of socks. Now in this drawer is basically just all my shirts or tops. So I need to figure out what I want to bring out of here. This is going to be hard because I don't even like half the stuff I got in here. So let's see what we pick. Everything else, I'm just gonna bring all those camis over there and then that oversized shirt. So I'm only literally staying for like two days, so I don't know why. I don't know. I'm an overpacker, shut up. Now I gotta figure out, oh my god, if this thing comes out one more time, I swear to god. Now I gotta figure out what I wanna bring for certain days for the top so I can start to pick on my bottoms with everything. So, oh my god, this is kind of stressful. Hold on. I should have made a list. Should I make a list? I'm gonna make a list. So I'm gonna make a list because I know I'm gonna forget something if I don't. I'm just in my notes on my phone. So let's make a checklist. Okay, I already got like my underwear and bras and like socks and all that. So I'm not even gonna put that on the list, but whatever I wear to work, I'm just gonna wear that on the way there in the car because we're leaving right after. So I need an outfit for tomorrow, but that's like whatever. Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night. So that's five. Okay, sleep shorts. Um, What else? And then like, to be honest, I don't really the sleeper shorts on and neither do any of the people that are going to be sleeping in the bed so we're probably just not even going to wear pants if i'm being honest but i mean to like walk around the house and stuff just like a regular t-shirt i'm gonna say sleep shirt just so i know now monday what am i wearing monday what are we doing monday i don't know what we're doing so i'm gonna bring three bikinis i'm just gonna say color block shorts because i know what those are like i know so these for monday and then whatever shirt i don't know and then so how many shirts on so monday this is hard, what the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna finish making this list and then I'll come back and show you guys. I really don't know how to pack now that I'm thinking about it, but give me one second. Okay, I think I'm good. So the list is made, period. I made it pretty specific. I was keeping in mind the outfits that I wanted to wear while making the list. I'm just gonna go down this list, so. Let's just do it together. So the first thing is sleep shorts. I'm just going to go into this drawer down here. And these are all like all my comfy clothes, basically. These are the most comfy. So I'm going to bring these ones. They're like pink and black, whatever. So that's to sleep in whatever days. I don't know. I'm going to bring the ones I'm wearing right now. I actually put on the purple and white ones. I'm going to bring those too. Oh, and then my gray biker shorts for I don't know what. So I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but sleep shorts and shirt is done. Next are the camis. You can't see it. It's not going to focus, but I want to bring this because this could be a f like part of a fit on its own to be honest it's hot so okay i'm getting everything mixed up i suck at this okay done like that would be cute you know what i mean i don't know we'll bring everything okay great you see why oh my god i'm such an overpacker it's ridiculous okay next on the list is three bikinis so let's not judge me or make fun of this drawer but it's broken um <laughs> It's ghetto, I know. I actually have to bring this bikini because I'm doing a promo for it on Instagram. It's like a high-waisted bikini. It looks ugly off the body, but it's so cute. So I need to bring this. And then here's the top for it. I'm gonna probably be bing. <laughs> I'm gonna probably bring my neon yellow bikini because you cannot go wrong with neon. Put this away. Ghetto, oh my god. Yeah, look. Don't judge me, okay? This is cute. I'll probably wear this with one of the ripped jeans that I'm gonna bring, so I'll bring that. This is a good sleep shirt or just a shirt to, like, make content in if we're not doing anything. So I think we're good with shirts. Now I gotta bring my jeans out. Um, My jean collection kind of sucks, if I'm being honest, but we're gonna work with what we got. I know for sure I wanna bring these. They're, like, these are, like, my favorite jeans. These jeans 
are from American Eagle. I'm gonna bring those probably with this. I'm not gonna wear no skirt. Who do I think I am? Okay. I'll bring my black shorts just because you can never have enough shorts, whatever. And then probably one more pair of jeans. These are lighter wash, so oh my god. <laughs> I'm going for two days. What am I doing? Okay, everything clothes wise is done. Now I gotta like oh shoot. Blurry! Now I need to narrow this down and make outfits. I'll be right back after I'm done making all these things outfits. We'll be back when it looks more like this and not like this. <laughs> okay, update. I got everything way more organized. And then while I was at it, I went and grabbed the shoes that I was thinking about wearing. So I picked out my outfit for tomorrow at work and then on the way there. I'm going to just wear my slip-on van because I know I'm probably going to wear those with one of these outfits. I narrowed it down to four outfits, so two a day essentially. One outfit with jeans and one outfit with shorts and then like a sleep outfit or a few sleep outfits so i decided to do my denim short with the blue tank top now i'm probably gonna wear my air forces or my slip-on vans depending on if i want to walk weird or if i don't and then for the evening or just my alternate outfit alternate alternate outfit whatever i grab my tie-dye crop top and then just some jeans so monday's good and then tuesday i just have a white cami black shorts and then i'm probably gonna wear those air maxes and then my jeans outfit is obviously american eagle jeans and then this little shirt that i got from shein i don't know if i want to wear these or these with this outfit like i really don't know probably gonna wear these because they're just like a little bit more comfortable and i don't like being seven feet tall so i'm gonna really quickly pick out the shoes i'm gonna bring and then start to put everything away i'll just time lapse that for y'all because this video is like literally gonna be 50 11 minutes long so since you thought we was done we wasn't done i still have to pack my beauty stuff and my electronic stuff i still have to pack hair stuff makeup stuff skincare stuff and all my electronics so this over here is a hot mess we're just gonna act like we don't see that but i'm gonna just throw everything on the bed that i need to bring this stuff i'm not bringing so we're just gonna act like that's dirty i know i'm not the only one that does that anyways so let's start with makeup because it's easier oh i have to sneeze <coughs> these are hair things whatever but i'm i need those too so then I'm gonna bring my brushes. So I got my sponge, got powder, contour, highlight, brows. Okay, we're straight. So, so the makeup is all laid out and ready to be packed. Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Okay, right, next is hair stuff. So brush, edges, brush. This is skincare, but we'll get there. Oh, this for makeup too. For my skin, I'll bring this this makeup wipes all right i'm straight that's a lot of stuff i think we're good everything is ready to be put in something i don't even know what i'm putting it in oh i should probably figure that out damn i did not think that through the closest i have is like this so we're just gonna make it work because we have to uh oh the baby woke up So, almost everything's done. Everything else I can't pack until tomorrow. I can do that after work. Basically, all my electronics or like my chargers. So, my camera, obviously, I won't be packing it. I'll probably just put it in my purse. I need my Apple Watch charger, my computer charger, and my phone charger. And all those need to be put in my purse. Not my purse, my suitcase tomorrow. And then my computer, I can probably just hold it. Because I'll probably be editing in the car. So, let me show you my progress. I figured out that I want to wear these instead of my Air Maxes. Just because, I, I don't know. Like, I just want to wear these. It's kind of basic but we just gonna it's fine so obviously i'm not bringing the box with me that's kind of dumb just so no one yells at me i'm gonna put these on the floor not the bed there we go so now it's time to put everything in here and then that contains all my makeup and then i threw my hair ties in there and bobby pins and then all my other hair stuff like i said i can't even put nothing in there because i'm doing my hair tomorrow so all this is about to go in here let's do it I'm done packing for tonight. Like I said, tomorrow I obviously have to put my hair and skincare stuff in here. And then my toothbrush and all that I can just probably go, I don't even know. Probably in that pocket up there or 
in a plastic bag somewhere. I usually don't pack like this. I usually roll my clothes, but I actually didn't overpack my suitcase this time, so I didn't need to do that. So it looks a lot better than usual, but this is what it looks like. Whatever, got my bathing suits on top, and then my sleep stuff, and then obviously my outfits are under. Underwear and socks, nothing's in here. I'm probably gonna put my hair stuff in here, or right here. Makeup bag, shoes. We're ready for Daytona. Oh my god, okay. So I'm like 98% packed. Tomorrow after work, I'll see you guys because we can finish packing. And then I'll end the video tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. It's literally 11.15. Um, I'm tired. I'm really tired. So I have work in 12 hours. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, I'm gonna like, you know, shower and all that. Then go to sleep. I'm done for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow after work. Guys, it's so soon. Okay, anyways. Bye. Okay, just kidding. So I decided that I'm just gonna do my hair the same way that I have it today. So I'll do my hair tomorrow when I get there or Monday. So I'm just gonna put my hair stuff in my suitcase tonight. But I just wanted to update y'all and say that. So <laughs> now I'm going to bed after this. Hi. Oh, this lighting, ma'am. Okay. So it's 3.37 in the morning. It's literally like over a week later. <laughs> So yeah, I'm editing this video finally, and I did an outro the video. Are we shocked? No. So, I'm back home now, obviously. I had a great trip. I wish I vlogged it. I suck and didn't vlog at all, but we will definitely be making that trip a lot from now on. So, I got y'all. It's literally almost 4 in the morning, and I'm tired, and this video needs to go up tomorrow. So, thank you so much for watching. It's the bad lighting for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, not the elbow crack. I will see you guys in my next video and until then, bye. My last nigga was a bitch nigga.